Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install the Finch Jumper mod in Minecraft 1.13.2. This is, as it says, a very simple utility mod that allows for jumping over fences, walls, and things like that without the needs for carpet on top of them, trapdoors, jump boots, anything like that. You can just jump over fences without any issues. And what's really cool about this is it won't allow animals or anything like that to jump over the fences, just you. So that's pretty cool. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an awesome 24-hour ddos protected server running anything from minecraft mods to bucket plugins to even both if you set up a sponge server you've got tons and tons of options over at apex they've got over 30 mod packs that you can install with just one click and if you want to create your own mod pack run your own mods in your server run other mods and just like put any mods that you want on the server you can do that as well apex has so many options and we love them so much we actually host our own server on them play.breakdowncraft.com but nevertheless if you do an incredible minecraft server apex is the place to go again you can check them at the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash apex nevertheless let's go ahead and get fence jumper installed in 1.13.2 the first thing you want to do is come to the second link down below that's going to take you here where you can go ahead and click on the earlier versions button here you see that earlier versions go ahead and click on that earlier versions button and then it will take us off to here where you want to make sure we download the 1.13.2 version see that 1.13.2 once you find that come over and next to the 1.13.2 version and click the orange download button if you don't download the version that says 1.13.2 it won't work so make sure you do download the 1.13.2 version there and then we can go ahead and click that orange download button now it will begin after five seconds however no matter what whether you're on mozilla firefox or google chrome you have to save the file in some way on mozilla firefox it's going to pull this up in the center of your screen and google chrome it's going to pull something up in the bottom left of your screen either way what you want to do is make sure it begins in fence and ends in dot jar and ours does and it starts with fence jumper and it ends in dot jar then we can go ahead and save the file on mozilla firefox on google chrome it's going to be again in the bottom left Make sure it starts with fence, ends with .jar, and you can go ahead and click keep to keep the file. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge for 1.13.2. And to do that, you can go to the third link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial on installing Forge for Minecraft 1.13.2. However, all you need to do is click on this green download button right here in the center of the screen. You see that green download button? Take it here, scroll down, green download button, click on that green download Forge button, and it will take us to Forge's official website where we can see that this is MC 1.13.2 here. If it's not, just on the left-hand side, click on 1.13 and then click on 1.13.2, and then it should say MC 1.13.2 up here. Once it does, you can go ahead and click on the installer button right there. It will then go ahead and take us off to add focus where you don't want to click anything on this page. Stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. It's lying to you. It's not ready. Your download is not ready. Up here in the top right. It was counting down. Two, one. It counts down from like I think five or six. You want to wait until you see a skip button in the top right. Go ahead and click that red skip button and then it will open up the same thing. We need to keep the file on Google Chrome. Save it on Mozilla Firefox. Google Chrome is in the bottom left. Mozilla Firefox is in the center of the screen, but we want to make sure it starts with Forge and ends in .jar. If it doesn't start with Forge and end with .jar, do not download it. You need to click the red skip button. Nothing else on this page, just the red skip button. And then you should be able to get the full file that starts with Forge and ends with .jar. As we can see, ours does. So we can go ahead and save the file on Mozilla Firefox on Google Chrome. As long as it begins in Forge and ends in .jar, you can go ahead and keep the file. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and on our desktop here we have two things. We of course have Fence Jumper, the mod we're installing, and we have Forge 1.13.2. We're actually going to be starting off installing Forge, so go ahead and right click on Forge, select Open With, and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you do, go ahead and click OK. If you don't, no worries, I have a solution for you. However, if you click Java TM Platform SE Binary, still didn't work, guess what? Still have a solution for you. So let's go ahead and go through those. Now, if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary at all, or even if you do and it's not working, you still need to download the Java Development Kit. This right here is linked in the description down below. I think it's called like Download Java or Download JDK, something like that. But this is the Java Development Kit here. And this is something you need to run not only Forge mods, but Optifine and pretty much any other Minecraft mods, even start a Minecraft server. You need the Java Development Kit. And this tutorial walks you through how to get the correct version for your computer and all that stuff. It covers everything. Now, if you do that and it's still not working, you need the jar fix, which is our in-depth tutorial on how to fix 
your jar files on your PC. I say it's in depth and it is, it covers it very simply, but that's the thing, it's a very simple process. As you can see, it's just three steps. All you gotta do is download this uh, file here, run it and you're done. So yeah, if you're still having issues after you install the Java JDK, just come here and run the jar fix. But nevertheless, if we go ahead and minimize our browser, you will now be able to right click on Forge again, click on open with, and then click on Java TM platform SC binary and click okay. It will then open up our Forge installer here. We wanna click on install client and click okay. And now go through and install Forge. And the only reason you might have an issue with this is because you haven't ran vanilla Minecraft 1.13.2. You need to run vanilla Minecraft 1.13.2 for this to work. I've done that so it will successfully install. Yours most likely it will as well. But if you do have an issue, just go play Minecraft 1.13.2, like load up a single player world and then close out of it and you will be good to go. So now we can go ahead and click okay there. And now we've got the Finch jumper mod here that needs to get installed. This is very, very simple. Click on the Windows icon. It's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that Windows icon there in the bottom left of your screen, and it will open up this. I think it's called the Start Menu. I've forgotten, to be honest. In here, you want to type Run, R-U-N, exactly like that, and you'll have this Run Desktop app. Click on that Run Desktop app, and in the open bar right here, this like search bar, basically, we want to type percent appdata percent percent sign app data percent sign exactly like that and then click OK. It will then open up our roaming folder here where we then want to go into dot Minecraft and in here we should have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, no worries. Like right now, boom, our mods folder is gone. What do we do? Don't freak out. It's all right. All you got to do is right click and create a new folder, title that new folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and then open up our newly created mods folder. In here, you want to take the fence jumper mod, drag and drop it into here, and then you're good to go. We need to open up the Minecraft launcher, and don't be slamming the play button immediately, because if you do that, it simply will not work. What you need to do is go next to the play button here, and you should have a little green arrow next to the play button. Click on that, and you should have a Forge profile. If you do, click on that and click play. If you don't, no worries. Click on the three lines up here in the top right, and then click on launch options. Once you're in launch options, we need to create a new profile by clicking the add new button here. We can name this profile whatever we want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I doing that? Because that is the best Minecraft 1.13.2 and Minecraft Skyblock server on the multiverse. It's an incredible server network with over 100 players online, pretty much 24 seven at this point. Come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com, 1.13.2 Great Protected Survival, custom Skyblock that you will absolutely love. We've got a ton of updates coming to Skyblock, to Survival, constantly growing, constantly updating. We really are the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, so come play with us. Again, play.breakdowncraft.com. Right there is the IP. Once you've got your name set, you can go ahead and click on the version here where it says release 1.13.2. Click on that, and then in here, it should have 1.13.2-forge. If you have multiple versions, as we do, make sure you click on the latest one by clicking on the one with the highest number at the end. For example, 0.89 is bigger than 0.88, so we're gonna be going with 0.89. Click on that, and then I'm gonna change my resolution. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to just so you'll be able to see the game once we get in there. And then you can go ahead and click Save. Now we can click on the News tab here. Click the little green arrow next to the Play button, and then we'll have that play.breakdowncraft.com profile we created. Click on that, and then under the Play button, it should say 1.13.2-Forge. Ours does, so we can go ahead and click Play. It'll now download some things, do what it needs to do, and open up Minecraft 1.13.2 with the Finch Jumper mod installed. Pretty simple, pretty easy process, and overall, nothing too difficult. Minecraft mods are simple to install, but it can be a little overwhelming, so that's why I like to do these tutorials, walking you exactly through how to do it, every single process, giving you the trusted download links, all of that stuff. But here we are on the Minecraft main menu, and if we click on the mods tab here, we'll be able to see Finch Jumper, that is very much installed. But we can also jump into single player. I'll jump into this server world here. And once we're in here, I believe there will be a fence. And that fence, I can jump over with the fence jumper mod. Assuming it doesn't like error out because I've installed mods on this before. No, there we go. So I'm pretty sure that I can come up here and it'll just kind of let me jump over this fence. So we jump and there we go. Boom. A little bit laggy because it's loading in the world. So just to show you without lag, let me do a little uh, loading real quick and I'll see you after a jump cut. There we go. Turn down my render distance and graphics. And as you can see, I'm walking into this fence, not working. However, if I jump, I can jump right over that 
fence very, very easily. Simple mod, but a cool feature nonetheless. If you guys have any questions about installing the Finch Jumper mod, let me know in the comment section down below. We are more than happy to help you out in any way that we can. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if it helped. I think I've already said that. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft content every single day of the week. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. 1.13.2 Grief Protected Survival Custom Skyblock. Come play with us again. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. I'm Nick. This has been The Breakdown. I'm out. Peace.